Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here at Best Gardens DIY. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that little subscribe button just below on the bottom left of this video. And also give this video a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Today I want to talk about if bell peppers freeze back to the ground in the winter, will they come back? Now, most situations a bell pepper will not come back if it freezes back to the ground. These were all grown from seed, um, but we did plant a few from small sprouts that we bought from like Lowe's and uh, it, all of them froze back. And I was like, well, I have these pepper seeds. I'll go ahead and plant them. And one of the bell peppers that froze back to the ground, and I'll show you it right here. It's the most mature, the one with the biggest bell pepper there did. And this is the stem right here that actually froze back to the ground. And uh, it sprouted from the roots down there. You can see the dead stem where it froze back to and then it re-sprouted. And I didn't think that would happen, but in a very rare instance, it can happen. So it's not worth putting all your money on or all your, you know, eggs in one basket on counting on them coming back. But in some rare instances, bell peppers can come back after freezing. And you can see that the one that came back after freezing has the most mature bell pepper on it than the seeds do. But um, the ones that were planted from seeds a little after this one started coming back are already kind of overdeveloping that one that came back. So in general, you will probably have better bell peppers just if you start over with seed or replant some small seedlings again than you would waiting on them to come back from a freeze. So sometimes I know gardeners like to get the head start on um, getting their plants in the ground and you run that risk of a frost coming in afterwards. So, you know, it's something to consider. Um, you know, grow indoors, they say two weeks after the last freeze and then you're pretty safe. So here's some of our crook neck and, and butternut squash. Y'all, thank you for watching this episode of Best Gardens DIY. Hopefully we'll see you again next time and we'll keep talking about garden stuff. If there's anything you want me to make a video on, please uh, comment below and I'd love to make a video for you. Y'all have a great rest of your day.